Hi folks, and welcome back to Let's Play RimWorld Lakeside Ridge. A couple of things to do when we get started here. We're going to order those rocks to be hauled. And we're going to make a um, standard dumping zone up here. Just to hold steel slag chunks and um, rocks and things of that nature. It's still probably the nicest uh, prison I've ever had. We're still waiting on... Um, Finding another dumb labourer or someone else who can just help out with the kind of research that we're doing. Now these things here, we want those. We're not order these. No, we have to urgently haul those apparently, just to get rid of them. I'm tired of seeing bodies in my uh, garden. Going to separate Jay Bear and Kim's wedding was that? Well, more power to them, I guess. But we have a lot of things going on right now. We're making components, we're uh, making bionics, we're making a lot of things, and all of it is going to require this steel, and this plasteel, and uh... Oh, Jay Bear and Kim are now officially getting married, looks like they're doing it in just a dirty pool hall, as uh, all good space colonists should. They're now married, that's pretty great. I don't know if they, um... Yeah, I don't know if they can split up once they're married. I know they can split up before then. But I'm not sure about once they've actually been married, if that's possible. And of course, things are breaking down. As they, uh, as they always do. Yep, their marriage is finished. Everyone's back to, uh, back to work. So it looks like we're actually harvesting a bunch more of this barley now. More food poisoning because they're feeding the dogs raw vegetable matter instead of uh, meat. Which I'm fairly sure we have plenty of. Oh, maybe we don't. We don't have any meat. We should fix that. Definitely don't want to be hunting those. Anything else good on the map to be hunting right now? Bunch of cassowaries and pumas. Don't want to be hunting those. Definitely don't want to be hunting boomalopes. It's not that boomalopes are the worst thing in the world to hunt. Like, oh, yeah, some capybara. They'll do. It's more just that, uh, you know, they tend to get annoyed and explode. And that's just not ideal. Oh. Jay Bear and Oliver are starting a fight. That's not so great. Wait, what? Did Oh no, it's just hospital. The dog picked him up. I thought Oliver had been killed for a second there. I saw his gun drop. I thought all uh, I thought Jay Bear had just straight up murdered Oliver. He did destroy his right thumb. Which is a bit of a bummer. That's right, we don't really have any more medicine. Yeah, I think uh, Oliver has all of your health been seen too. Solar flare, so everything's being done. Okay, Oliver, please go re-equip your assault rifle, and then you can sleep wherever you like. So this solar flare kind of sucks. I'm gonna turn off all of our uh, freezers there. We might lose some food from that low water temperature. Yep, that's just because of the solar flare. There's nothing we can do about it for now. Looks like we just got another big batch of beer, so we will definitely be selling some of that. Because we're making it much quicker than we're going to consume it. Awesome, we're getting rid of those rocks that are in the jail cell. That's just purely for my own aesthetic pleasure. How is this room anyway? It is awful. It is a minus six room. Despite the fact all of the furniture is like pretty decent. But I guess it is covered in mud right now. And we are finally getting a bunch of the hauling done. I guess that's because all of, all of the workbenches are turned off. People have no choice but to do the hauling and the farming and what have you. So, um, you know, silver linings. But we could definitely do with a dedicated uh, hauling and cleaning guy. 
solar flare is over, so people are going to go back to their regular business. Looks like Priscilla's making more uh, early prosthetic stuff, which is good because we still have a few eyes to replace and I think another hand and foot and a few other bits and pieces, but uh, we can't do it all at once. And if uh, Jebe's operation or anything to go by, we definitely need to take our time with it. Okay, those silver flowers are at 20. Okay, so these uranium roots actually aren't going to take too, too long. Like they're, uh, they're getting there. Plasteel's on its way. A bunch of the steel shrooms have uh, grown. They just need to be replanted. And we are training the dogs towards hauling. That's going to take a, a lot of pressure off the colonists. Because the dogs will be doing a lot of the lifting for them. How are things going in here? Still that, uh, yeah, still marshy soil there. Once these are done, we'll be able to close that in. Because for now, we're not really doing anything else. Here. Like, what are we? What can we make on this? Okay, quite a lot. A GD combat blade, vibro sword, assault hammer. Well, that just sounds cool. Steel, plasteel components. Nice. So I think once we get um, power armor and power hammers and things, we'll have uh, a pretty effective melee force as well as range. How long does it actually take to make a component, Kim? Looks like it takes a while. Oh well. Gardeners are just going to be eternally busy now, that's never going to change. I'm not entirely sure, sure where all these guys are going, maybe hunting. Ashki, what are you up to? Hauling steel. Oh wow, yeah, there's still a bunch of that to uh, bring in. Oh, we've made the bionic foot. Who else needed the bionic foot? Is it Kelly? No? Okay. Yeah, McKay needs a foot. Not desperately, but I guess we'll just leave that in the in the bay for now until someone else gets a light blown off. What are you making? Oh, you're making... Are you still refining pastel? You know what? I think we're going to cancel that now. I don't think we um want to be making pastel in that way anymore. Now that we have the bulbs and everything. I've been thinking this wall. I was for a while considering getting rid of it, but then I realised it was going to um, it would cave the roof in if we didn't have it there. So I guess it stays. Still a bunch of food outside that needs to be brought in. Now I think just for a, a day or two, we're just going to put hauling and cleaning up to full on everyone. Knock everything else down to two. Just kind of reset all our priorities here. And really, you know, oh, what's going on here? I'll oh, just be auto save. Ooh, nice. So yeah, just really get some, uh, some of the busy work done. Because right now it's just, it's not happening. And we kind of need it too. Looks like a bunch of people are going to go out and grab all that steel. That's kind of nice. We'll have Jaybear go out and trade with them. Once we find out who it, there they are, there's the combat supplier. Now, I'm not sure what we actually have that we can trade with them. We just got the shipbuilding basics, that's nice. Let's see what uh, oh they have medicine, we're buying that. Uh, I don't think we care too much about the shelves. Keeping all of our other stuff. So let's see what they have that we want. I don't really think there's anything they have. So we're particularly desperate for, so we'll just settle for the medicine and call that a good trade. Yes, we're definitely getting a lot more work done this way. There are a lot, a lot of steel shrooms to be uh, smelted here. I think we may move that up in the... Um, in the priorities list, because that is, yeah, that needs doing. And 
and then uh, once they're done with all this haul hauling, we'll tell they're done when the floor doesn't look like absolute ass anymore. Because this room is it's considered awful, and it's only considered that way because there is mud everywhere on the floor. How much of uh, that camp fuel? How much more of that do we need? Okay, one more batch of that. How are we on wood? Don't have a massive amount. So we'll order a bunch of that to be uh, cut down. What's going on now? Just another auto save. Looks that way. A bunch of wood to be cut down. But for now. We're actually getting a lot of this busy work done, and you can see just the sheer amount of uh, manpower it takes to do this. I could, I would honestly, if a slave trader came by, I would take a couple of dumb laborers. I would pay for them at this point. So the work is piled up to the point that uh, it's just going to take a long time for us to be able to um, complete it. A couple of days at least. But if we don't do it now, we're going to lose a bunch of resources, so best to just get on it. And also the uh, horrible environment is going to be affecting people's moods. No one wants to walk into a workshop and see a trail of blood leading to their own workstation. How much of that steel's left? Because that's a... Okay, that's good. That's gone. That was a really time-consuming job just because of the distance people had to walk. But it's brought us up to nearly 2,000 steel. Which means those components can be uh, made. Pretty happily. Mad animal, what do we got? A female tortoise. It might get here before morning and get killed by our guns. It's uh, not exactly... Not exactly Speedy Gonzales. Come on, buddy. I believe in you. I wonder... Oh, ship. We got... Ship structural beam. Oh. Cool. So we'll build our ship probably um, across that way, maybe um, maybe straight up from here. I don't know how wide or big it's going to be. I've never got to the point of building a ship before. And uh, quickly, while I remember, just want to uh, give a quick thank you to Jace, who pointed out the um, brewery to me before the last episode when we built it. Because I forgot to last time. And you die, what do you do? Oh, apparently that, that tells to die. No? Did it just stop being mean? Must have got shot and decided the uh, life of a sociopath wasn't for him. Still on the hauling. We still haven't even got to the cleaning. This has been nearly, um... Yeah, we're on to the second day now of just manual labour that was forgotten about. How many bones do we have that are getting turned into bone creep right now? It looks like we still have a few. Not as many as I thought, but then we do use them quite a lot. Uh, let's get you on that smelter. I want to get a start on those mushrooms, because there are a lot of them. Why do you want slag chunks? Slag. Oh, because that's all you can do. Huh. So is it going to have to be Kim to do that? I'd, I'd rather not have Kim on that. Can anyone else actually do it? Priscilla. Okay. So Priscilla is going to be um, doing a bunch of the refining and crafting. Looks like that's actually a more skilled job than I thought it was going to be. And we get four per 16 steel shrooms. I believe each plant gives us 16, so every square on that tile is four steel. I think that's 100 or so plants. So yeah, we're only getting like four or 500 per harvest from that. And it's a long wait between harvest and a lot of work to get it. Definitely do with another crafter or two. It's 
Still no sign of any cleaning being done. What's everyone up to? Hauling steel. Steel from where? Was there some other steel out on this map that we... Oh, the stuff these guys brought. Before we, you know, modded them to death. Oh, that is awful. Okay, so if we miss even a single one of these plants, every single thing on our entire farm plots will be useless. It will all rot, it will all die. I hate this event because it is super easy for this stuff to jump and it will really mess up your plants. Like in a big way, you miss even a single bit of this. And you've lost your entire crop. And some of it blends in really well. Like that there on that corn plant. That is blighted and you can't really tell. So it looks like it hasn't touched the southern parts of the crops. So, um, McKay, Kelly, nope, Oliver, Jebe, there we are. You die, nope. Kim, nope. Flash gear. So these guys, we're gonna have to have, um, really get on point with this. And we're going to have to, as annoying, as annoying as it is, manually, just every time they're done, have them cut down something else. Because, um, yeah, if we don't get on top of this now, we lose more and more crops. There it is, spreading some more. We're just going to try and work our way through this as quickly as possible. Keep our eyes out for the uh, blight spreading, because it will spread incredibly quickly. And I have, there have been multiple times where I thought I've gotten all the blight and I've looked back the next morning and my entire crop is just decimated. And you just have to give up an entire wave of uh, all your crops. It doesn't matter how far through they are, how, uh, how much you need them, they just disappear. This, in my opinion, is one of those events um, super easy to manage if you get to it quickly enough. If not, You've lost months of in-game progress. What else was it you could do? This? This is just three. First one it was four. But yeah, as long as you get to it quickly enough, this event isn't really that bad. But it's very, very dangerous if you're not quick. It kind of sucks that we're having poor uh, J Bear and Bashke out here till 1 in the morning, ripping out plants. Poor guys seem to uh, basically run the colony for us, but it needs to be done. And apparently everyone else in the colony is a big sissy and just wants to be in bed. But I think... I think we have it all. So that kind of sucks for them. Harvest failed. I think like crops will always fail the harvest, but we got it all. So, well, Priscilla is still up. Smell the more steel shrooms. We have an absolute ton of that now. The steel. And uh, yeah, wow, Priscilla, are you a night owl? You should be in bed by now. I wonder if this was because I told her to prioritize the work. I didn't think it would keep her up all night, but it might well have done. Well, time for a shower in bed now, I guess. Well earned. I'm not sure what everyone else is up to right now. I'm guessing hauling more steel. Oh, visit the grave. Who you visiting, you die? To be honest, I've completely forgotten who the people that we got killed a few episodes ago were. It's been uh, a lot longer than that for me in real time than if you're uh, binge watching this series. Who is that? Oh, Cappleson, I remember him. He was another one of our um, dumb labor guys. So we're just going to have another check over the crops here. Make sure we don't see any more blight. Which, thankfully, we don't. And I think um, we're going to 
going to put Oliver back to uh, first researching as a priority. Because there's not really that much else that he's good at. At least not as important as far as the colony is concerned. Eating one of those space sandwiches. I don't know about you, but I wouldn't really trust a sandwich that spell, fell from space. Not if I had a choice in the matter and there were all these lovely uh, lavish meals sitting in here. Which I think that's what we've moved on to now instead of just fine. Is that right? Yeah, cook lavish meals. Which people will get around to eventually. Bunch of another heal root harvest. That's pretty nice. Well, the, the plants are actually coming in, in la that large waves that um, we barely have time to store them before we harvest the next wave. We might start going for um, larger yield plants than rice. Let's see what else we could get. Um, What's a neutral flower? Oh! Nutramine. Okay. So that's the, one of the other prerequisites for uh, medical. So then we would have the cloth, we would have the herbs, we would have the, um, the Nutramine. And we could actually make our own medicine from scratch, not have to buy any of the components from elsewhere. Priscilla making more bonecrete now. That's fine. People are really overworked. I've definitely issued too many orders, considering the amount of colonists I have. I might have been too ambitious with that um, farm. Might have just been a bit too much work there for the amount of people we have. Shame we don't have any slave traders passing by. I would love, love the opportunity right now to just grab a couple of slaves and just uh, yeah have them have them uh, not work the fields just have them do all of the hauling and cleaning I basically want a couple of maids I guess so, uh, back to the bones is it how much uh, how much more is there on that work order not much at all so once she's done there hopefully she'll move on to the smelter Animal. It's a boomalope that blows. We'll keep an eye on it, and if it gets, um, if there's anyone in its way before it, we, it gets to the turrets, we'll activate them and have them run home. Hopefully, we don't get someone else shot by our own defenses. That does seem to be a common practice here. Bit of a long trek there. We'll let him keep going. Looks like... Oh, are you, you're not going to attack my dog, are you? No. Okay, so he doesn't attack dogs. That was a good thing to find out when we did. Means we don't have to worry as much about them wandering around on their own. There we are. So now let's... Uh, oh. Never remember who actually fights fires. Oh, three should do. Anyone else who isn't uh, explicitly ordered to, who has a firefighting, will uh, come help out with that anyway. Hopefully before it kills all my traps. Which, it doesn't look like it's actually setting my traps on fire. And now we have another boomer of corpse to butcher. So I'm pretty, I'm actually pretty okay with how that turned out. Looks like we're also swapping out the rice for neutral flowers. Which is fine. I'm actually hoping they grow a little bit slower, to be honest. Because, yeah, we just have so much hauling and cleaning to do. It's unbelievable. Could do with, like, a, a refugee or... Oh, I saw someone with a mop out just now. But, of course, there's always more... Uh, more work to be done. We have a lot of beer. But we're actually going through that beer pretty, pretty, that 
pretty quickly as well, because we have like eight people drinking one a day, so eight a day. Well, I think one's a teetotaler, so they won't drink beer anyway, so probably seven a day. And yeah, it looks like we're finally getting the cleaning done. There's a lot to be done. You'll see now these rooms will be improving. See, it's now very impressive. That's, this room was considered mediocre before because of all the mud. These are now considered decent, good. Slightly impressive, slightly impressive. Yeah, it's like... These rooms were not good before, and now they are. All just because there was mud on the floor that your people refused to clean up. So we'll leave Bash Gear on one for those, put everyone back else back to two. You die, what do we want from you? We definitely want construction, definitely want mining. And you know what, we need another crafter. Just because uh, it's going to take Kim and Priscilla a long time to get through all this. Oliver, you're researching, that's all you'll ever do, really. Um, McKay. Yeah, I want hunting and growing on number one for you. Same for Kim. I don't know. We definitely want crafting and stuff on Kim. Who else can hunt? Jay Bear could hunt, but he has a melee weapon. Uh, Bash Gear can hunt and he can clean. Sounds good to me. Now hopefully, Bash Gear will be able to um, keep on top of the workload. Now that people have helped him kind of get back on top. Because he was doing it pretty much solo before this. There are a lot of things out there that will be hunted in the next couple of days. And uh, getting the Labradors to haul as well will be a big, big help. So who's on Handle Animal? I think that's a number one skill for... Yep, Kim. There we are. Definitely want those things trained up and ready to... Uh, Yeah, ready to go, ready to haul and help out, and earn their, uh, earn their keep. Bunch of the hunters are out now. Now that the, uh, now that the cleaning's been taken care of. Looks like it's going to take a long, long time to do the ship research, and we won't be able to get every part of the ship anyway. There is the AI core that, as far as I know, you can't build. We will have to wait for an event to pop up, wait for the chance, and go out and find one out in the world somewhere. So far, this has just been an episode of Spring Cleaning. But you know, I think I'm okay with that. It needed to be done. It's going to make our people a lot happier to have done it. Or at least, well, I don't think they enjoyed doing it. They enjoyed having it done. Looks like, um, are we brewing right now? I don't believe we are. Someone will get around to it. Yudai and Jay Bear having a nice beer at uh, 3 in the afternoon. Whatever, guys, you do you. Looks like we're back to cooking as well. McKay is probably going out to kill something. It is kind of what she enjoys doing. Oh, we have a bunch of the plasteel uh, things ready. Priscilla, what is your... You're level 4 at growing. You're going to mess up so much of this harvest. But you know, that's that's honestly fine. Because that's the only way she's going to learn. And the more people we have capable of uh, manning these fields, the better. All that. Is that just a bunch of cloth that we can find on this loom? I think it is. Oh, and now Oliver is making. What are you making? Unfinished large bone sculpture. You guys, sorry. Why did I say Oliver? Oliver's my nerd. Who I think is nerd. Yeah, he's uh, getting close to that uh, that maximum research capacity. Oh, we have another dumping zone here. Well, get rid of that one. I'd rather that be my dump zone. So it's uh, a little bit out of sight, out of mind. And when it gets a little bit gross, we don't have to worry as much. I'm already seeing the mud pile up. So Bashgear clearly isn't capable. 
on his own at least of doing this work along with the hunting so we're going to take him off that because the corpses are piling up anyway people can't keep up with the workload of all of the bones that are coming in Capybara that was being hunted just died of its own accord after being shot. Someone probably left it out there injured, poor thing. Okay, is this thing capable of hauling yet? Nope, five out of seven. How about you? Four out of seven. Don't know where the other one is. They seem to just wander of their own accord, really, for the most part. Five out of seven, nice. So it won't be long now until the dogs are pitching in. And then uh, then Bashkir will have a couple of minions. A couple of things to uh, keep a note about animals who are trained to haul. They generally speaking can't haul as much as people and they just kind of do it when they feel like it, not all the time. But uh, hopefully it'll be a help. You die, why are you doing two? Oh, Kelly started one, okay. That does make a bit more sense than him doing two. Uh, we're probably just going to sell those anyway. Uh, Jebe. Once you're done with that one, I want you back on the butchering table. I don't know why they don't prioritize butchering over cooking. Because, uh, yeah, like, things go off if you don't butcher them quickly enough. Kelly. Kelly, can you... Yeah, you know what? I'm going to put Kelly to hauling and cleaning as well. Maybe two people, if they have the job together, will be capable of um, keeping on top of everything. Okay, scratch that. Raid. Looks like they want to use sappers to go around my defenses. So what are we looking at here? It's a lot of rifles. I see a phase rifle. I see molotovs and mini grenades. Okay. Everyone mobilized. Down here. I want... Uh, who's close? Oliver and you die. On the turrets, everyone else, Jebe over the wall, came in the bunker, Bashkir in the bunker, okay, Kelly and Priscilla over here, let's go, we had a mad animal pop up at the same time I think, or is that a local, oh yeah, a mad animal walked onto the map at the same time, I'm, I'm sure it will kill the attackers for us. Wow, these guys are coming quick. I don't know if we're going to get any mortar shots off in time. Oh, you know, we did get one. And it was a miss. That's unfortunate. Now, they they did say they're using sappers to come round our defences. And it looks... You're shooting my dog? Who shoots a dog? Come back in, dog. Quick, quick. There we go. Dog distracted them. We'll get it into a as soon as we can. They're still throwing a bunch of grenades at us. So I think we're going to have to actually take different cover and get ready for them coming through the wall. Yes, please run over to the wall and we'll punch it while there are grenades there. Oh, can you, can you go, go sleep? A louder than I thought would be. Sorry about that, folks. I'm going to zoom us out a little bit here. Jebear and Kelly. Let's get them over here ready to just jump through the door. As soon as these guys try and jump through, we're gonna, I mean, hopefully the, one of the mortars will get one of them. They are, all, they are somewhat out of range. Let's see how long it is. 12 seconds. And that should be firing any second. Yep. Complete miss. Oh, Kelly has mini grenades. Jebear, get over there. Jebe might be our only, um... Oh. Sucks to be a lot of our people right now, actually. These guys aren't going to be able to see us. Oh, and now they're blowing up bedrooms. Okay, they're running. 
Brennan. Demilitarize everyone. I don't care about following them. Oliver. Uh. Oh, okay, Kim. Rescue Kelly. So we have Priscilla. Get in the bed. Oh, that one's reserved by Jay Bear. Never mind, Jay Bear. Get in that bed. That's fine. As long as everyone's getting into a bed. And then we are going to think about um, capturing some people as soon as we've tended to our own wounded. So, of course, stoves are breaking down. Uh, someone else must... Already Doctor and Kelly, okay. Bashkia. Okay, you guys tending there. Bashkia, you tend to J Bear. And then we can look at some capture points. Nope, oh, that's a corpse already going towards the dumping pile. McKay, why? Relaxing socially. Don't you have gunshot wounds right now? Yes, you, ha you have been shot. Right now is not the time for beer. Jebe's health been seen too. Yes. Instead of playing billiards, how about you tend to one of your colonist friends? That is a thing you could be doing right now. Okay, so that's going quite well. So let's come look up and see who's left to capture, okay? Uh, dies in six hours. Kim? Capture Damien, and uh, oh, he's incapable of dumb labor and firefighting. Mm. He's a good doctor and cook, though. See if there's anyone else we'd rather have. Oh, yeah, we don't want this person. Capable of caring, social, intellectual, crafting, and firefighting. Although they would make a decent, just dumb laborer, so maybe we will take them. That is exactly what we were asking for, after all. Incapable of not. Okay, we want this guy. We want this guy. Kim, capture that guy first, you die, you can capture Damien, and Oliver, please capture Hermine. We might just release Damien, oh well Hermine died. Okay, we're already doctoring, so uh, in prison here. Oh, very difficult. Well, we're going to chat and recruit anyway. I'm going to chat and recruit there too. Oh, there's that mad tortoise. <laughs> I completely forgot about that. There we are. We're going to doctor those guys and just try and recruit them over the next couple of days. It's obviously going to be a bit of an effort. Um, we're going to unforbid everything on the map again. Uh, who's up and not doing anything right now? Priscilla. Uh, no, I want you to haul those. Oh, Priscilla won't haul. Of course you won't. Uh, you die. Please haul those goddamn mini grenades. Structure. Okay, we're gonna want some uh, some bone creep walls there, and we're gonna want some. Where's wood? There's wood. Some wooden walls there. Take a look at power. Looks like we didn't have anything too vital running through that area. We've lost something. A statue. And a plant pot, I think. Severe illness and starvation. Damien. Starvation is Kelly. Um, Bashkia. Prioritize feeding Kelly. Kelly, how is your health looking overall? Well, you got a lot, a lot of uh, things. But it looks like it's... um. Yeah, it doesn't look like too much permanent damage, at least. Looks like another hole in the wall down there, too. So we're going to need a lot of construction work done here. So it's going to take um, J Bear a long time, if it happens at all, to convince people to join us. Uh, J Bear, can you... Yeah, I would like these bodies taken care of, because people are going to get negative moodlets every single time they walk past them. Awesome. So now he's just going to chuck them in the crematorium. And that'll do that. 
Nice, the dog got healed too. That'll happen overnight, like as soon as the dog um, went into its bed, they'll heal it. But I don't think they can just chase it down and do it that way. I might be wrong. I, uh, I haven't done too much with animals, if I'm being honest. So yeah, I uh, didn't really intend that to be the way we got new colonists, but um, you know what, I'll take it. If they actually join. Hopefully they do. I mean, was it Char? Was Char the good one? Or was Hermine the good one? No, Char was the good one. Incapable of nothing. He is a terrible fighter right now. But look at that. Mining, growing, construction, social, crafting. Another crafter. And then Damien. Can... I mean, he's incapable of dumb labour. But he's a decent cook. And he's a decent doctor. So it's... Uh... He's definitely a possibility. Looks like you guys out doing his construction work now. There's a lot of that to get done. Cause it's not just, um, you know, I think we want to be hauling in this stuff. That that's a good, good rifle there. So you guys, please haul that. Good quality militia rifle. Yeah, they really, really did a number on our walls. I guess we did too. Mortared them a whole bunch. Didn't realize how long it was going to take to repair these walls, but I guess, uh, yeah, there is a lot of work to be done there. You know, I think we're going to uh, go into our work orders here, and we're going to get JB on construction as well, because there is a lot of work to go around, and I would like the place secured up as soon as possible. Is back up and around. It's like 2 in the morning, so I guess she's just leaving the hospital bed to go to hers. Priscilla's up at 2 a.m. playing cards. Bashke is sleeping alone there because his, uh, well, his wife is in hospital. Oh, they even hurt the doors and the walls this far in. Was this us or them? Still not sure what exploded down there to leave a component behind, but. Get that construction work done. This is just going to take a while, it looks like. It, it's actually taken longer to repair these walls than it would to just replace them. But that's obviously a little bit more wasteful. It does seem like people are, um... Yeah, they're doing what they can. Almost time to end this episode. I might roll right into the next one and record the next one because I'm having a good time with this right now. Inspired trade. Well, I don't think we're going to see that too much. Looks like the. Oh, wow. Okay, these are tribes people. So they have a bunch of bows and arrows. The problem is our walls are breached right now. Obviously, Kelly can't be militarized, but everyone else. Over here. And I guess we just, uh. Yeah, I guess we just hope. Like, we get everyone in position. Well, let's get everyone into positions and hope that they come through the front door. Or obviously, we're gonna throw ourselves onto the, uh. With this preparing quickly, uh, attacking immediately thing, the mortars don't come in as handy as just the sheer firepower of the front door. A lot of melee weapons tend to come along with uh, tribes people. Looks like there's at least one going for the hole in the wall. Yeah, there's a few going for that hole in the wall. This sucks. Okay, um, what can we do here? Well, we can obviously have people take up positions to fire at the wall and just 
hold, we hold them back long enough for the front gate to do enough damage that they feel like this is not worth the effort anymore. We might get ourselves a little prisoner here. Oh, we're dying pretty quick. Is, that, is his name just human? Because that is amazing. Okay, manatee. How do you look? Incapable of caring, but really good fighter and another dumb laborer. So, Kim, please capture him. Jebe. And you die already on their way to the infirmary. Which is a shame because, well, they're, uh, they're our builders. And we need them. Bashkir. Uh, prioritize tending to Jebe. Kim, I think you should already be heading to uh, take care of... Oh, you're capturing that guy first. Okay, that's fine. He's in a medical bed, but uh, you should be now... Oh, reserve by a little bit. Okay, so someone will get around to the healing the other guy. I guess Bashki is already on his way after healing someone else. So we're going to go into here. We're going to go into Prisoner, and we're going to go to Chat and Recruit. These guys are apparently excessively difficult to recruit. Looks like one of the dogs has actually started um, its hauling job. Did we blow a leg off Char or something? No? Oh, he's got a minor thing. Um, could we... Oh, we could administer things, okay. Install basic reproductive organs. I don't think... don't think that's really gonna do well. We can neuter, we can euthanize, we can harvest as... as uh, internals, but I don't think any of that's really what we're looking for here. We are trying to recruit these guys after all. And it's going to take a while. If it ever happens, it's it's going to take a while to recruit these guys. Jebe, always wounded. Looks like nothing too, uh, too bad, though. He does have a small alcohol tolerance, but that's because he drinks a beer every day. But it won't get any worse than small, I don't think. Oh, Jesus, who's infected? Oh, that's, that's one of those guys. I'm not too concerned about that, then. I mean, the least you could do is keep your cell clean, guys. Not asking much, is it? So, yeah, I think we're going to end this episode here, folks. Thanks for joining me once again, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. -bye.